Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to Yen Truck Gaming. Thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, just a quick reminder for you guys to please like the video, make sure you leave me a comment, and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Portal Revolution. All right, and here we are at the start of Chapter 5, the cutting room floor. That was very, very painful. Wow. Hang on. Was that my portal gun back there? I might need that if it is. Is it just a, a turret? Sterling, what did you do to me? Why? Why would you do it? Nothing there. Keep following the lights. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. Enrich yourself today. Volunteer for testing. Keep out. Let's go in. I would like to have my portal gun back, please. Whoa. Oh, I just shot this thing into space. I have to have something in my hands. Otherwise, I'd go crazy. Hmm. Where should I take this? Following the tube. Going up. Nope, not yet. Let me take my bucket with me some more. <laughs> this, whoa, this is silly. Um. Oh no, my bucket. Oh, Whew. that was a close one. to do that but oh well guess we'll just keep going I have no idea where I'm going Go up that way. There we go. Um, yep. And here. This way. I get back inside here and take care of Sterling. Danger in the event of flooding, seek air pockets. You still watching me, Sterling? 
Hope they let me keep my water jug. Oh, bummer. wasn't necessary. Employee waiting area. Waiting for what? For testing? Was there, um... Something else over this way. Just came in the stairs. Nope, just an empty chamber. Um, there's a fling thing over there. All right, let's get testing, I guess. My new boss is a robot. But did you know robots are smarter than you? Robots work harder than you. Robots are better than you. Ouch. Cake! Visit the Aperture Science Cafeteria on the 22nd floor, sector 07-AS. Try out the cakes. We are rewarding a free cake to any and all who are willing to volunteer for testing. Robots don't sleep. They can test and do your job. So what you're saying then is I am not needed here. Alright. Is that what you're saying? Can I have my portal gun back, please? Please? I know this place has power. You're still opening the doors. Control point. Please prepare your papers for inspection. Got it. I don't know where we're going at this point. Um, just kind of going in circles. Is there something? Can I climb up one of these? What do I do? This? Oh, so, whoa. Calm down. Okay. Um... All right, there we go. Back up. Is this a working elevator? Take me up. Get me out of here. Sterling tricked me. Nothing down the dark hallway? Well, alrighty then. We're just going in all kinds of circles here. I feel like I'm right back where I started. I don't want to go that way. It's too dark. It's just going to lead to death, I believe. Keep out. I don't want to keep out. Up the creepy stairway. Isn't this where I just was? It's 
it's very similar to where I just was. Okay, here's another button. Yikes. Welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Yeah, oh. How was that? Okay, good. <clears throat> The fact you're standing here tells me that you want to help us revolutionize the world. Just like we have for over 30 years. Wrong draft? This one? Lunch at 10. Wait, where are you going? Are we not finishing my part? Okay, so that's interesting. This kind of uh, reminds me of um, Cave Johnson and Portal 2 once you get to the outside and then... He steps in and starts narrating. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. This game is great. This game is very good. Like, you wouldn't even know that this was a fan-made game and not from the original developers. That's how good it is. Wait, I was already down here. Um... Am I going backwards? Were we already over here? Ugh. We were not. That's so creepy. Yeah, speaking of Kay Johnson, Fabulous 50s, after purchasing a salt mine in Upper Michigan from Hit from his profits made in the military grade shower curtain business. Okay. Science Maverick Cave Johnson founds Aperture Science Innovators. Embracing change, fostering inclusivity. In response to the 1968 Senate hearing on missing astronauts, Aperture Science expanded its product testing to include participants outside the country's elite class of human resources. Donating Science, the highly popular $60 science contribution reward, enabled hundreds of low-income families to secure a regular source of revenue. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Can I have that? Yes, thank you. This one looks awesome. A new era following the passing of founder and CEO Cave Johnson, Aperture Science reinvents itself under new leadership. Aperture Science handheld portal devices. After 30 years of innovation, the handheld portal device marks a major milestone in personal teleportation technology. Portal conductor paint made from a new patented moon rock based composite material is available in our store. Ooh. Whoa. Sweet. All right. So that took us back basically to where we started. So now hopefully I can come back through here and get to the other side. Maybe not. Um, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay, now where to? Just going back down. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to be going, though. Was that right? Or 
Or did you just actually want me to fall down? Completely. Hmm. Wait, is this where I was before? With the ladder? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so there's this. Um, can I go back around? I need a place to fall. This looks like a good place to fall. get up here. Um. This isn't going to get me where I want to go, though. This is my concern. I'll be okay with this. Um, I gotta find my thing though. Okay, I think I got it. Need a blue one. There we go. Sweet. Okay, should we go down or over? We're just here. I legitimately don't know where it wants me to go. Um, I feel like it wants me to go this way. Is there a, a button I can push? Is that what I'm missing? The button? In there somewhere? This is new. There's my button. Did that open my door? Let's see. No. So what did that open? Start up the elevator? Open this. What did that turn on? A 
I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I see it now. Open this way. Stairs. Are you gonna let me get in the elevator? Nope. You did. There we go. Thank you for volunteering. Please return to your desk and wait for their opportunities. This elevator works. something different with this test if you've worked in device development then you'll know what this is already but if you don't that will actually give us better data so just have fun with it it shouldn't be able to hurt you shouldn't test one so this is like their drawing board, I guess, of how they're going to lay out what happens with the blocks and stuff. Interesting. Very interesting. Block. Ouch. to try all right so there's got to be a place here somewhere where we can put a portal right no really well Then how am I supposed to get the block out of here? Oh, well, okay. That was complete accident. How did I do? Turret. To remind everybody who didn't read the introductory guidebook about pneumatic diversity events. All pneumatic diversity vents in test chambers have been calibrated to a maximum capacity of 60 kilograms to prevent most humans from being sucked up and disposed of. <laughs> if your body mass happens to be under 60 kilograms, extra caution is advised. Really? Alright, how do I get out of here? Can you just like 
Suck me up. I don't know where that guy went. Fail, fell back in. I don't hate you. I'm glad you don't hate me. Okay, so that's uh, up here, right? But I can't fire through? Oh. Um. That's interesting. So. How do we get up there? Yikes. Can't shoot through there either. Alrighty. Wait till they're done. Alright. They don't hate me. That's all that matters. Um, I did not even see, was there a block somewhere? I did not see a block anywhere. That's very interesting. Let's go back down here and see if we can find it. Um, go all the way back, all the way back, all the way back. Is this as far as I can go? Huh. Is it out here? No. Well, that's baffling. <laughs> Found it. Here we go. Well done. As 
a heads up, the following test chambers may not include pre-recorded messages like these in order to measure how test subjects behave in environments lacking human contact. Good luck. Thank you. All right. We got to get out of here. No testing for me. I know, we need to head toward the fire. Burn! Alright, um, uh, let's see here. Doors, doors. Is there a place that I can... Put another portal? There we go. I just could have put one right there. Didn't even see it. It's huge. Yay, carambas. I came in. We may never know. down there. Alright, like that. Um, okay. Warning, the sun has been treated with picric acid and can be caused to detonate when moderate amount of shock or friction is applied. Do not drop, toss, ignite, touch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dark in here. A scary button. First one thing I know, we're gonna have to push it. Oh, you just locked me in. Cert disc, I still haven't found a disc. Um, okay. Hang on. Oh no, now it's broken. Now what do I do? Disc. Um. Okay, I guess I just turned everything off. Yikes. Oh, did not even see that. What's happening? Are we done? Wh oh, hey, what's happening here? Where am I? The, who are you? What's going on here? Where are my hands? No, this can't be possible, can it? 
Okay, let's do this properly. Sorry for my freak out. I will explain what just happened, but let's get out of here first. Can you pick me up? Oh, they put Thanks. you inside of this There's thing? There's not far from here. Let's go there. Okay. Not this way. By the way, where is everybody? Mm. Is the office closed? And what is a test subject doing here anyway? Don't ask. That's really dark. Light switch anywhere? I mean, we don't have to go through there, do we? I completely understand if you would rather find another way if you're scared of the dark. No shame in that. It's just the absence of light, right? What reason would anyone have to develop a phobia for it? Can't find another way through, hmm? I may have an idea. Let me try something. Thank it you. Worked. That's crazy. <laughs> I still don't like this plan, but here we go. I don't like this plan either. Wandering through the office after working hours with a stranger and nothing more than a flashlight. <laughs> Sounds like fun, huh? Where's this hub you were talking about? Listen, I'm sorry for... Oh, Whoa. I'm so sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to overexpose your eyes. You know Sterling? What do you think of him? Is he an alright guy? Wait, this is where we were. We're going backwards. Okay. Wait, what happened here? Look out the window, please. That one? Right. Trying not to panic again. Can you tell me what year it is? Oh, you don't know either? Guess we're in the same boat then. Let's try to get this door open. Stick me on that plug in the wall. I'll see what I can do. All right. Got it. Woo. Got it. You okay? Uh This doesn't seem like a None of this used good to idea. Be here. How long was I out for? It must have been decades. I don't really know where we're going now. Oh, let's try and find a management rail. Then I can access the whole network. Oh boy. Management rail coming right up. Elevator. Sure. What's the worst that could await us up there? Nothing. Actually, you don't want to know. I know I don't. All right, and that is chapter five in the books. If you've made it to the end of the video, thanks so much for sticking around. I certainly appreciate it. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. But either way, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.